Hey guys, today is Wednesday, May 9th, I think. <laughs> Yesterday I thought it was Wednesday all day. Anyway, um, this is my first opportunity that I've had to do a quick video of where I'm at. So I wanted to kind of give you an update. So here's how all of Mystery 9 is looking right now. My Chatelaine. And then let me show you where I'm at. So, since you saw this last, I finished all of the blue flowers. Let me get a little closer. I finished all of the blue flowers. They still need their beads, but all of the flowers are done. This green, what I'm calling hedge, is all complete as well. I did the, what I'm calling the railing outline. I did all of this and you can see I had these pieces that come down and then there's a little bead that goes there in that little space, um, which is why I held off on doing my beading on the flowers until I got this railing in. And so I got all of that done. And then over the past couple of nights I've been doing all of these urns and um, they have I'm kind of casting a shadow here but there are two colors in each of those urns so there is a gray and then there's one little stripe of three stitches that's kind of a purpley gray so it's a little hard to see the difference in this lighting but anyway so I got all of those done last night so let me show you what I have left. So obviously I have the beading left on all of the flowers. That should be fairly quick. I'm gonna show you up here on this completed corner. So each of the urns has two little beads that go up on top of them. So I have to do all of those. And then in the railing, there are these blocks of satin stitches that are then you, then you go over the top of them with your petite treasure braid in a big X, long stitches. So that's what I have left to do. And then this corner is complete. Oh, and there are these little beads up here in the corner. Those have to be done too. So that's all that I have left on this corner and then it's done. So I think over the next couple of nights, I should be able to get that finished. And my plan is if I can, between tonight and tomorrow night, get this corner finished, then this weekend I can pull out Snooty Parrot and work on it a little bit before I dive into the next section on here. So that's my plan. Next section is gonna be the center pool that goes right here, and then the staircase. So basically that right there. And those actually, I mean, that goes pretty quickly. The, um, the steps themselves are rice stitches. So those take a little bit of time, but compared to the corner, it's no big deal. So that'll be my next piece, and then I'll start on this corner the last one corner four and then i have the side pool and the stairs to do over here so my plan is i'm going to finish this corner tonight and tomorrow night friday saturday sunday i'll work on the snooty parrot monday i'll get back to my chatelaine because i want to have all of the outside done in May, so that in June I can focus on doing my center and then putting all of the crystals on. So that's my plan. So that's all I got. I will update you after I get this corner done. Hey guys, it's Michelle and today is Friday. May 11th and I wanted to give you a little update on where I'm at with my Chatelaine. 
So my goal this week was to finish this corner, which I did. I got this finished up last night. So I got all of the beads on the flowers done. And even, you know, these little ones that kind of peek up into here. I got all of the beads on the urns done, <coughs> including the two urns at the top of the steps right here. So all that's done. I got this beading done right here on the corner. And yeah, so that whole corner is finished. And I mentioned the other day that I had to do some repair work. So right here in these little half stitches that are in that petite treasure braid. For some reason, these right here had kind of let loose. So I just had to restitch those. So I did that while I had that pink treasure braid out for the, um, for these. So, I started, I just barely got a start on doing the, the staircase that's here in the center. So I'll have the staircase here. There'll be a side pool right here. And then I'll move on to the last corner. And as you can see, I have a lot to do for that last corner. Um, and then I've got the staircase and the side pool over here to do. And then the whole outside is done. So my plan is that for the rest of May, I'm going to focus on finishing all this outside work, this whole corner, because I want to have that done by the end of, the, of May so that in June, I can focus on filling this center in and then putting in all the crystals. So like there's crystals that go right here. There are crystals that go in these little center pools. There are crystals all in here. And then right here on each of these triangles, all of these little zigzags are um, bugle beads that are in this kind of beautiful bright blue color. And then of course there's beads in the center. So a good amount of work still to do. So I'm gonna try to really kick it into high gear and get this corner done in May. But since I finished my corner last night, which was my goal, I'm gonna take a break for a couple of days and focus on Snooty Parrot just to kind of give myself a little palette cleanser before I jump back into this, because that seemed to help working on Dutch Beauty for a couple of days. So that's my plan, TGIF. And um, I'm gonna join in the Friday off the grid party with Snooty Parrot. So, yay, coming along. Hey guys. It is Saturday, May 12th, and I thought I'd do a quick video to show you what I worked on last night. So this is Snooty Parrot Barbara Anna Designs, and I'm doing this on 5260 linen, lakeside linen. And I think it's vintage exemplar. And I'm stitching it with the Tudor silks from Gloriana, which are lovely. And so last night I did a couple of letters here and I did this diamond. And then I came over here and I worked on this basket. I still need to do the alternate stitches in the basket, but I'm happy with it. 
And for scale, you can see that this needle minder is a little smaller than the size of a dime. So it's teeny tiny. And what I found is that I was really nervous to work on this last night because I was really concerned I was not going to be able to see it. But I used my stronger glasses and I was able to see it just fine. It seems like it takes me maybe 30 minutes or so for my eyes to kind of adjust to it. And then once I get adjusted to it, it's fine. It is much easier to start against other stitches when I first start, rather than having to start in an entirely new area where I have like no stitches really as a reference point. So I had some of these blue leaves already stitched, so I was able to kind of start over there and I was able to kind of work in on these letters because I think I had part of the J done. So that makes it a little bit easier that you have a reference point before you get, you know, your eyes get totally adjusted. And yes, you're not seeing things wonky. That is actually crooked in my cue snap. So I have the hardest time getting things straight in my cue snap. But you can see I've got part of this border done. Got it done over here. And it does actually come down um, on the other side, I think. And then I've got this these strawberries. So, and this is my, what is this, maybe an eight inch cue snap. So it's teeny tiny, but I'm really pleased with how this looks and I had fun working on it last night. So I'm looking forward to working on it again tonight. See how far I can get. Hey guys. It is Sunday, May 13th, and I wanted to give you an update on where I ended up on Snooty Parrot yesterday. So, um, I finished the basket. I got the alternate stitches all filled in, and then I went down and did this little star, and then I've made a little start on the deer. I was hoping to get that deer done, but it just didn't happen last night. But... I'm really loving how this is looking and I really enjoyed stitching on it again which is nice I was really concerned I wasn't gonna be able to see it but um, I'm really happy with it so this will go away um, and today is the 13th so dark 13 stitching so let me show you what I'm gonna work on I'm going to work on my Jinx um, pattern by Raise the Roof that I started last month and this is where I'm at. So I haven't gotten very far but um, I thought I would work on this tonight. See if I can get a little bit farther on it. I'm really, that's looking really purple but it's not. It's warmer than that. Um, so I've just got a little start on the little house with the umbrella inside. So I'll work on that tonight. And um, then tomorrow I'm actually starting a sow with um, Jen from Felicity Stitches and um, Michelle Farm Girl. And they um, had been talking about starting this which is um with thy needle and thread birds of a feather um this was a three-part mystery that she did years ago and of course i caved and bought it when it came out um but it's a really sweet little piece the part that i loved most about it are those red flowers in the border i just thought that border was so pretty so um, let me show you where I'm at on mine because, of course, mine has already started. So, I don't have a ton done, but I have 
a little bit done. <laughs> um, I'm stitching mine on 40 count con weeks Confederate Gray. Um, it actually called for 35 count, and I'm using all the called for over dies, which I think are all weeks colors. So we're gonna start that tomorrow and um, I'll work on this a little bit and then get back to my shadow line. So that's it. I will probably gather these all up and um, get another video uploaded for this week's vlog so that you guys can see it. Oh, and this is living in my Macaron Paris fabric bag. Um, Sylvia and I bought this fabric while we were in Paris at one of the needle workshops there. It was kind of a needlework quilting cross stitch shop. And there's the inside, that pretty pink. So, um, yeah, so we'll get started on that sale tomorrow. I'll work on dark 13 stitching tonight, and then I'll get back to mystery nine. Hope you guys have a great start to your week. Oh, and I had to show you my scissors that are in this project bag. So um, it's a little hard to tell, but these are um, polka dot scissors that someone gave me. And then the fob that I have on it is actually a fob that I bought at the needlework show in Paris. Um, and it's got these little clay pieces on it that I just thought were darling with a little suede tassel. So this lives in my my Paris bag. Too cute. I just love it. All right, now I'm done. And show notes can be found on my blog, CozyEgg.CozyEggDesigns.com. Thank you for liking and subscribing. I appreciate all you guys.